Taxpayer money goes to work on the next round of wildfire mitigation and forest health. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a local man missing since last week was found dead yesterday in the Blue River north of Breckenridge. Summit County Coroner confirms a body found floating near Coin Valley Road is John Scott Still, a 53-year-old from Breck, previously from Fort Collins. He disappeared last Wednesday. Cause of death is pending an autopsy, and the coroner does not suspect foul play. Authorities cannot comment on an open investigation. Last summer, fuel breaks near Wilderness and Mesa Cortina protected thousands of residents from the Buffalo Fire, and this summer, the work continues. What they'll be doing on the Wilderness Mesa Cortina open space is actually felling and stacking trees. That was Mike Wurzel with Summit County Open Space. Next week, a hand crew begins thinning the woods east of Mesa Cortina below Buffalo Drive, continuing work started several years ago. Part of it's about creating a fuel break, part of it's about forest health, and then part of it's about doing, um, you know, projects that are going to be the most effective. That crew moves east to west on 30 acres of open space with rolling trail closures through September. They'll be out there with chainsaws, felling and stacking trees. So unfortunately, it's not exactly an easy thing to do in conjunction with our trail access. But what about controlled burns and smoke? At some point, either this fall or what's more likely springtime when there's still snow on the ground, when the weather is right for burning, we'll, we'll actually be hiring a crew to go in there and burn those piles. Work this summer is funded by Measure 1A, a 2018 tax increase for wildfire mitigation and for other community programs. Vail Resorts is about to make the owners of OxyContin $87 million richer. Yesterday, we reported on Vail's pending purchase of Peak Resorts, a company with 17 ski areas out east. Today, Forbes reports the Sackler family, owner of prescription pill manufacturer Purdue Pharma, holds a 40% stake in Peak Resorts. The Peak sale is worth $264 million total if approved by a majority of stockholders. The Sacklers have owned stock there since 2015. Breckenridge is busy with its multi-million dollar downtown parking structure planned for the South Gondola lot where officials hope to break ground next summer. Mayor Eric Mamula. We need to make sure it looks good. We need to make sure it functions correctly. So we have a lot of work to do before May of next year when we hope to be in the ground. That structure comes with at least 200 additional spaces and, in the meantime, parking headaches. The season of 2021, we will be short 550 cars in town because construction will be going on on South Gondola a lot. The town signed a 50-year lease with Vail Resorts recently. Taxpayer money builds and maintains the structure while Vail collects parking fees. Electric scooters are on the town council agenda in Breckenridge tonight. Council hears first reading of an ordinance banning scooter rentals in town limits, similar to a law passed in Frisco earlier this month. The Frisco law outlaws dockless scooters, but allows dockless e-bikes. The Breck ordinance does not include bikes. At tonight's meeting in Frisco, Council hears the latest from a tobacco task force proposing tax and age increases for all tobacco products and weighs a plastic bag fee. Council could impose a 10 cent fee per bag by 2020, same as in Breck. Both meetings begin tonight at 7 p.m. Local fire danger is moderate today with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies open a series with the Nationals in D.C. today at 5.05. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. The Summit Trail Running Series continues tomorrow, Wednesday, on 6K and 14K courses at Horseshoe Gulch. Get signed up online before 6 p.m. today through BreckenridgeRecreation.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.